Hey everybody and welcome to the very last challenge of the Social Marketing Ultimate Challenge. It is the last day of week six and today what we are going to be doing is creating a Google profiling listing all the social networking and websites and all the information that is important for you. Now here's what a Google profile does. If someone were to go to Google and search for my name, Tasha Vazdeka, what they're going to see is a whole bunch of stuff that may or may not actually be affiliated with me, right? Tosh Bezdek is a pretty unique name, but some people, you know, your name is very similar or you share a name with a famous person, so it becomes difficult to find stuff about you right on the first page, right? So when someone searches for me, they're going to see my Twitter accounts, they're going to see my IMDB page, some general stuff about me, some blogs, and then down at the very bottom, because I have created a Google account, they're going to see what's called a Google profile, okay, and it's got my name, both what I go by and my real name, where I work, it's got a picture of me, and when somebody clicks on that, it's going to take them to a page with all sorts of information, right? So it, it, again, based on whatever information you put in there. So I put a link to all these websites that I would want to direct someone to, right? Um, it asks you a couple of, like personal questions, you know, so that you can answer if you want, places where you've lived if you want to answer that, schools you went to, companies you worked for, stuff like that, okay? So it makes it easier for people to find the real you and where you actually are on the internet on a first page Google search, okay? And unfortunately, it is at the very bottom of the page. Maybe at some point they'll move it up to the top. But in the meantime, at least you're on page one. So here's how you go about creating a Google account. First, you need to go to google.com forward slash profiles, and it refilled it with all this other junk, but just profiles, P-R-O-F-I-L-E-S. And what you're going to do is click on the Create My Profile button. If you already have a Google account with a profile, you can sign in to see it. Otherwise, you're going to click Create My Profile. It's going to ask you to sign in with your Google account. So whatever Google account you have, oops, yeah. okay? Um, keep in mind, if you have a YouTube account, you probably have a Google account. If you've got a blogger account, you've got a Google account. If you have Gmail, you've got a Google account. Or you can create one. They're free. You might as well get one anyway. Okay? So you're going to go ahead and sign into your Google account. And then it's going to ask you to create your profile. And you can put in whatever information you want, as much or as little as you like. Okay? So here you would put in your first name, your last name, other names, where you grew up, where you live, other places you've lived, companies, current company, current school. Um, and then it asks you for other stuff, right? So you can add um, a bio if you like. You want to be able to give people that information. If you've got Google accounts already linked, like your blogger, it's going to list your blogger in there. So you could go ahead and just add those over. Otherwise, you could add a custom link. So say, for example, I wanted to add um, the Social Marketing Facebook page. It's just going to ask me for the, ad the address of that page. And then what I want to call it. And then when you click the Add button, it's going to go ahead and add that. And normally it'll it'll figure out based on the link that you put in if it's a Facebook, a Twitter, a blog, or all that stuff. Okay, you can also give yourself um, an actual URL address so it's easier for you to tell people how to find you. Um, if you wanted to select one, like I would put Profile C21 Social Marketing. And let's put up in the top here, I want to be under Century 21 Award social marketing. I've already created one for myself. I don't want there to be two. Okay. Um, so, you know, you just fill in whatever information that you like. Okay. Add your links in there. You can add whatever you want. I'll add the Twitter link in there as well. Okay, you can add as much or as little as you want in there. Your personal website, other websites, whatever you want, good for you. And then if you wanted to select a custom profile, you would click the check availability button. It's going to say it's available or not. If it's available, good for you. Click the create a Google profile button. Okay, it's really just following the prompts and answering the questions. Now after you create that Google profile, if you use a Picasa or another photo service, you can add a photo stream into there if you want. You definitely don't have to. Um, and then if you want, you can add more information to your profile, okay? That's by clicking the more info to my profile. Such as you could add a photo on there. Um, you could, in your About Me, select change photo and upload a different photo based on, you know, whatever, whatever photo you want, a headshot, whatever you want up in there. And then you can add contact information. So we'll finish up here. Come on, internet. Cancel. And if you want, you can add contact information, your email, your address, your phone number. Um, you know, 
you can select people that can see this information or if you want to be safe about it just don't include it in there totally up to you what you do or want to put in there and then once it's totally all done your profile is going to be completely created this is what it's going to look like based on however much information remember here's the one that I created for myself with a bunch of stuff in there um, it'll take probably a little bit for that to show up on searches when you search for your name but eventually it will show up there down at the bottom okay so congratulations you guys made it through the entire six weeks I'm so so proud of you guys um, you guys will getting that be getting that checkoff sheet um, for the grand finale prize drawing shortly and have a great rest of your Friday a phenomenal weekend and I look forward to seeing you all around in trainings okay have a great day guys bye